All right, Cooper, remember what I told you, OK? Knees bent, elbows out, eye on the ball. Hang on. Hi, God. It's Missy Cooper. I know my mom talked to you about me the other day, and she's like your biggest fan. So what's going on? What, did you fall asleep? Sorry, I was praying. Oh, my apologies. Anyway, I could really use your help getting a hit. Amen. OK. Are we good? I don't know. We'll find out. OK, remember, elbows up, knees bent. I'm coming at you, Cooper. Way to go! Perfect! Thank you, God! How about thank you, Coach? Thank you, Coach. Too late. I have something for you. You said you wanted a cross, and this is the one I used to wear when I was your age. It's so pretty. I'm glad you like it. It's a nice reminder that wherever you are, God is always with you. And it means a lot to me that you want to wear it. Thanks, Mom. I'm going to pray right now. God, it's Missy again. If you can hear me better, it's because I'm wearing a cross now. Please let me get a lot of hits on Saturday. And if their star pitcher breaks his arm or gets run over by a truck, I'd totally be OK with that. Amen. Amen. What's next? We create a chemical flux by combining borax, sodium carbonate, lead oxide, and flour. Do you know Sheldon and Georgia are working on something together? That's nice. And guess what? Missy asked me if she could wear a cross. She's in her bedroom saying prayers right now. Hmm, I don't like it. What are you talking about? Our kids are behaving. Exactly. Something bad's going to happen. Why can't you just be thankful? Because that's when life kicks you right in the plums, Mary. Dad, where's your power drill? Why? Our oven doesn't reach 2,000 degrees, so we're going to make a homemade kiln out of a garbage can. And there go the plums. Are you two trying to burn down the house? Then I hit it over the right fielder's head. Sounds like you had a good practice. I did. Coach said he's going to have me hit cleanup. Missy, will you rub your cross on my bat? No. Have you been doing that? On mine? It's working great. Please, I'll give you a dollar. Fine. What do you think you're doing? Sharing God's love, making some cash. Absolutely not. How about I give you the dollar? God's love has nothing to do with money. What about the collection plate at church? That is different. That's where I found this dollar. Oh, come here. Bye. Are you mad at me? No. You sure? Because that's how you look when Dad had that breakfast beer. To be honest, I'm a little concerned that I've given you the wrong impression about how prayer works. I get it. I ask God for stuff. He gives it to me. It's not rocket science. Missy, God does not grant wishes. So he gave me good luck? <laughs> it's not luck. Luck is chance, and God has a plan. Right. And his plan is to give me what I want when I pray. That's why he's so cool. No. I, I mean, he is cool. But sometimes that might not be his plan. And what's the point of praying if he's just going to do what he wants? You don't pray to God to get things. You pray to build a relationship with him. This is too complicated. I'm just going to keep rubbing this thing on my back, kicking butt. OK. That is it. Take it off. No, I need it. The game's Saturday. There are more important things than baseball. Now hand it over. God, cover your ears. Damn it. Missy Cooper! You are not ready for that. You give that back. Oh, you get?